Hey Emily, it's Wednesday and I'm pretty sure living in my childhood bedroom has led to some form of regression. So today I'm going to pull out my laptop and give you a tour of my Webkin's pets as well as my little house. And maybe we'll play a game or together or something. In case you were living under a rock or like weren't eight in 2008, obviously I know you were, but like the audience. <laughs> Webkin's is like a virtual pet simulator. So you would buy these little physical pets and they would come with a code and you would enter that code online and you could play with them on the computer. I'm pretty sure I got my first Webkin's when I was eight. I was absolutely addicted to it. Um, and I collected quite a few and I'll, I'll show you all of them. I haven't owned a physical Webkin's in a long time, um, but I have been a part of the resurgence, especially on Reddit. And it, it's getting tempting to order one. However, you don't need a Webkin's to own an account anymore. You can just do it all online, um, but it's more fun to have the physical item. And there's different sorts of like, free and paid memberships. I, I'm just a free member. I, I cannot pay for my Webkin's account, sadly. Without further ado, let's pull up my laptop and let's play. All right, so welcome to my Webkin's world. I am currently playing with my poodle named Poodles. <laughs> um, and this is her bedroom. I've been going through trying to uh, change up and like make their bedrooms more fun. Um, that is my recent goal. Uh, but you know, I'm, 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 I'm again, I am not spending natural money on this, so it is a long process. But first I'm just gonna show you all my different webkins and then I'll give you a little house tour. So this is Poodles. She is my third webkins I got. I don't know why I remember that. Also in the corner, you can see that um, I got my account May 11th, 2009. So I was indeed eight years old. So ignore the fact that some of my webkins are sad. Basically what happened is if you don't log out um, and you stay like logged in and then like close your account, they get hungry or they get sad because you're not paying attention to them. And um, I, I gotta do something about that. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize this, but you can see their little certificate of when you adopted them. So yeah, I got this one just a few months after I opened my account. So the first one I ever got, her name is Louise. I spelt it Lois on accident because I was eight years old and I was so devastated that I spelt it wrong that I cried in the shower. So she is a domino cat. My second one, and he was the one I was recently playing with, which is why he's sad because I stopped playing with him. So my second Rubkins is Sebastian. Um, so the funny thing about Sebastian is he was made to be a lioness, um, but I didn't know what a lioness was. I just thought he was a lion. So I made him a boy, even though like everything about his character is supposed to be a girl. Third Webkins is Poodles, as I showed you before. She's gorgeous, I love her. I got her at a fair. They were selling like Webkins at a fair. And I'm After Poodles, I'm not as sure as the order. I can obviously look um, on their things, but I'm just gonna go down the list after this. So this one's Chowder. Also, you'll notice they all have matching pajamas. Some are in them, some are not. But um, Chowder, Chowder is a moose. Um, and I did indeed name him after the TV show Chatter. This is Buddy. If I'm right, I think he was my fourth Webkins, which could add up with that date. Um, but he is what? What, what is he, what is he called? He's a uh, Jack Russell. There we go. Um, yeah, he loves spaghetti and he's always wanted a toy cell phone. You'll get to see more of their personalities when I go to their rooms, I promise. Nemo the fish, obviously original. They had this thing called the Amazing Hamsters for a while, and you could like enter a special world with your hamster. They don't have that anymore, so you just have these weird little hamsters. I don't know why it walks on two feet. So that's Lily. Princess, I'm very excited about getting Princess. Um, yeah, I was, oh, it's a Lilkins. I do remember her being very small. I didn't know that was a special thing. I have always wanted a Yorkie, like, and to this day I still want one, so I was very excited about getting Princess. Sally is a zebra. I think every girl went through a zebra phase at that point. Spike the hedgehog. Honestly, I, I still, I like hedgehogs now, so I still like Spike. Rainbow, I feel like this might have also been one of the closest. Yeah, this actually might be my last webkins I got. I, again, I could look through, I'm not going to. Um, Bubblegum, cheeky cat, but obviously really, I'm original with all these names, including Ribbon, who is, a, I think she's what, a ribbon cat? Ribbon Yorkie, yeah, I did. I remember being excited about this one. Both the Yorkie pets I had were especially hard to brush their fur. 
And the last one is Cutie. I think she's supposed to be a normal poodle. Yeah, she's just a poodle. Um, again, I really did not think hard about any of these names. All right, let's go through the house. So I think the best way to go through this is to start at the top left corner and like go in a queue and just see if I hit them all. So this is the bathroom. Um, obviously I have not put a lot of care into revamping this yet, but the whole thing about the bathroom is like you can bathe your pet. You used to be able to fill this with bubbles and fill the entire screen but you can't anymore. So that's really freaking lame. They got rid of a lot of the fun features actually. So this is the game room. Um, you can see I was playing with Sebastian in here. It's where I keep a lot of their toys and other fun little games you can play. This you can actually play air hockey and it's actually kind of hard. Like I sucked at it. On to the next room. This was the movie room, but I sold most of the merchandise in it to work on the other rooms. And I didn't realize one of the items I had in there. Now you have to have a membership to get. And it was like this beautiful row of movie theater seats. And so now I'm not going to be able to get them back. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this room. This is our backyard. Um, <laughs> as you can tell, my garden is beautifully fulfilled. So each of your webkins comes with gifts in their house. Um, and it depends on your webkin. Um, so I just have two like bushes of two of my pets. Seems a little weird to the other pets, but... This is the living room, um, pretty bare bones at the time being, just some random crap on the walls. You can also watch the TV, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is Princess's room. Right now, Poodles is asking me to buy her something, and if I don't, she's gonna be sad. So I am gonna just buy the cheapest thing I can find, which is usually food. happy. Oh my gosh, I reached the family score. I want a check checkers table and another pet medallion. Okay, cool. Okay. Anyway, back to the door, I guess. So I'm trying to theme the rooms in certain ways. Also, this little thing that you see around her, um, they, I don't remember what they're called, but they're fairies that also, I think they're yens or something like that or something like that. That's a Philly sleigh. <laughs> Philly really popped off there, um, but there's some sort of fairy and um, they used to have their own world too, but they stopped. So now they can just like sort of like collect around your pet and like be their friends. And I don't know why, but for some reason, Princess has it. So this is not Chowder's room. I do not know why Chowder is in here. This is Sebastian's room. Um, and he is the lion that was supposed to be a girl lion. And one of the ways you can tell is by his chair being pink and pink is obviously for girls. I have struggled so hard with this room because I don't know how to incorporate that chair. I've tried to make it into a very Tumblr artsy room. I feel like I've failed. It just kind of is what it is right now. I've almost given up on it, honestly. Here's Spike's room. It's a little bit of a froggy theme. I don't know why the lamp is so close to his bed. Also, his bed's a hammock, which I kind of feel bad about. I feel like I should change that. I love the frogs in that room though. This is Rainbow's room. <laughs> it's pretty great. She came with that little uh, ball pit. I would live in this room. I love this room. It's a great room. This is Buddy's room. I don't know how I feel about the wallpaper, but you know, we made him a little sportsy guy. I'm pretty sure he came with that shoe car, which also, in case you didn't know, I don't know if you ever played Webkin's Emily, so, um, but you can drive them. But like, I have gotten, there was one that I had stuck in between like rooms for literal years, and I just now got it out because I have it on my phone. This is Chowder, the Moose's room. I also love this room. The wallpaper is a little much, but it's supposed to be like artsy and spacey and it's cute. This is Poodle's room. Here is her little car. Um, and this is the one that I had stuck, but we'll drive her around and hopefully it won't get stuck. And if it gets stuck, I'll cry. This is Sally's room. Um, she came with that piano. It's super cool. This is Louise's room. She came with that little rug. Um, since she's the oldest, I tried to make it kind of adult looking and the theme is called condo, so. This is called the restaurant. It's the smallest room. It used to be like a dining room that was themed after a restaurant, but I sold a lot of the stuff to make money for the other room. So, so sorry. Here's the kitchen. Um, I'm so sorry, Poodles. We are not gonna play a game at the arcade right now. I am doing a vlog. You can make stuff on your stove, but it's honestly hard to know. There's like not many ingredients or recipes. So you just kind of have to hope for the best. 
here is Nemo's room. So each time you get a webcams, they come with their own room. And because he is a fish, it's underwater. And as you can tell, his doors are boldable. And if you can't breathe water, you could get a little helmet. He came with his own TV too, which is really cool. Um, it's a sick room, honestly. He got it made. This is Poodle's room. This is clearly the one that I haven't gotten to redecorating yet. I am so sorry to Poodles, I promise. They are not neglected. I am just saving up money so I can spend more of it. This is Lily's room. It's a little cute ballet themed room, as I could actually. I feel like I would have liked that room as a child. And here is Ribbon's room. It's also slightly ballet themed. Um, she has her own face on her bed. Imagine that, imagine having your own face on your bed. I wouldn't like it. <laughs> okay, so I tried to speed run through all of that as quick as I could, um, but <laughs> I do know that's going to be the bulk of the video. So before I end it and give it over to future me to figure out how I'm going to edit this, I am going to take you to the curio shop. So the curio shop is a place where one, you can buy rare items, basically buy secondhand things from Artie, um, who's Artie fact, by the way. <laughs> and um, if not, you can also go for a gem hunt. So you're trying to get, the thing about the gem hunt is you're trying to get enough gems to get the legendary crown of wonder. Um, so you have to get every single gem at least once to trade them in to get the crown. Um, I have been working on this for 10 years, but like if you're consistent about it, there are people who have done it in like 30 days. And like there's like little like lists of like how to find the gems and like where the rare ones are at. You can also sell the gem to Artie if you already have one, um, but sometimes he gives you such a low price that I just keep them because I don't want to get $3 from him. Anyway, the gem of the day is Lava Lump, which means if I found it, he would give me a better price for it. Um, but yeah, so there's a bunch of different mines that you can go into, but the Buried Bones Mine is apparently the only place you can find the Webkin's Diamond, and I really want to find that. So basically, you get three tries to knock on any of the rocks and try to see if there's a gem in there. And I found one. I found one on my first time, but I'm pretty sure I already have this gem. I do. I have one ripple, river ripple gem. So he's going to give me a price on it. So I can either save it, even though I already have one, or sell it to him. 50 kins cash is not bad. So I will sell it to Artie. I'm gonna actually take you to the arcade because there's another task you have to do every day or you don't have to do what it's good to do every day and it's wheel of wow where basically you spin a wheel and you can only do it once a day and see what you get i got a <laughs> countryside christmas cottage kit i have no idea what that is but there's a whole bunch of things you can do but i'm actually going to log out so i don't make my webkin sad <laughs> okay so that was a tour of my webkins account I could definitely go more in depth of it, so if you guys ever want a Webkins gaming video, like, let me know. I will give you a day in the life of my Webkins if you want. I'm definitely not, like, as into it as some people are, though. Like, I am in the Webkins subreddit, and, like, there are some dedicated people, and I respect it, but, like, I just don't go on my computer that much, I guess. Honestly, I'm just amazed that I still remember the password. So if any of my Nerdfighter friends are on Webkins, let me know. I'll be your friend on there. And Emily, what were the childhood games that you played? Cause like, I feel like this could be like a whole freaking series of just games, but did you play Webkins? How many Webkins did you have? Will you wear wigs? When will you wear wigs? I feel like I always end the video saying like, it's been crazy for us in life and I'm just glad that we figured out a way to do this, but like, it's been crazy for us in life and I'm glad we figured out a way to do this. All right, well, I'm gonna go figure out how to put these clips together in a way that makes sense. And Emily, I'll see you on Wednesday. I also wanted to quickly respond to your last video, which is the thoughts from places, which I really love. When you were talking about how, when you were talking about how you wanted to move to LA, but now you don't, but it still felt nice to visit. It reminds me of the constant mourning that I feel like being in your early twenties has. Just knowing that even though you have your whole life ahead of you, you are going to have to make choices and you are never going to be able to like unmake those choices. And like you can change and you can move and stuff, but like at the end of the day, like you are only 22 once. Anyway. I am happy that we crossed paths in this weird life. 
um, and I'm happy we're doing this together. And I say that every video, but I am very happy we're doing this together. But also I'm very happy for you, um, just as your friend, seeing the successes that you've had. I mean, you work for an amazing company. Um, you have some good people in your life. And, you know, for the most part, I feel like I have been able to see a lot of your highs. I mean, you've had some crazy successful weeks. Um, and, you know, life is full of both the highs and the lows, but I'm very proud of you and I'm very happy for you. And I'm very jealous that you went and saw Hoshir in concert in LA and blog grads meet up at a Hoshir concert. Cause like for real, for real. I just really quickly wanted to show you the sweater I'm wearing. It's a goose saying, wow.